Welcome to part 2 in our series about PHP and JavaScript based form validation. In part 1, we set up a basic form template. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the JavaScript validate plugin and how simple it is to add basic JavaScript validation to your pages. So to briefly go over this again, um, we've included jQuery and the validate plugin and we have our form all set up. Now it's just a matter of telling jQuery which forms we want to be required, you know, that what uh, validation rules do we need to apply. And this particular plugin makes it pretty simple. We can just add a couple of CSS classes and the JavaScript plugin will figure out automatically what needs to be done with each of the inputs. So let me go ahead and add a couple classes. Um, I'm just going to keep things simple for the sake of this tutorial. I'm going to just add a class required to the name. Um, for the phone, let's do the same thing, class required. For fax, I'll just leave that alone. For email, let's also make that required, but we also want to specify that it's an email and get it validated as such. Um, so I think that should do it for now, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then all you need to do is add that class and a little bit of JavaScript here. And we start with a standard um, document.ready. Like so. That's just standard jQuery. And then all we need to do is go a such form. Um, I need to put it, this in quotes. And this form obviously refers to the ID of the form as such. And um, dot validate. That's simply all we need to do. Um, one thing I noticed just left over, um, you can clear this action attribute. I'll probably remove that from the source files. Okay, so let me go ahead and preview this and see what we have so far. Okay, so that looks good. Um, ah, sorry, it's validate, not validated. There we go. So it's working as it should. Um, all we've specified is that the name, phone, and email fields shall be required. So you'll notice that they aren't fill in, filled in. Um, they'll give us an error message. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in um, as such. And then let's see. Looks like we need to enter a valid address. And submit and looks like that's working perfectly. So obviously this particular plugin has a wide range of options so feel free to look at that um, either in the jQuery documents or if I go back here on this website um, B A S S I S T A N C E dot de and it seems to have pretty good documentation and it's quite expandable so the last thing I want to do to discuss JavaScript based validation with this particular plugin is I want to show you how to extend this plugin to add additional rules um, I should note that if you download the file um, this is a zip archive it comes with a wide range not just only the plugin itself but also demo files, um, additional um, additional uh, validation rules, etc. So it's quite useful and pretty well documented. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add some validation for that telephone number field. So um, I did notice if you check the plugins validation page on the jQuery site, 
they actually talk a little bit about it. Um, so let me just find the section on the page. Uh, give me one minute and let me find where exactly it is. That's right here. Okay, um, so pretty simple. This is what I was looking for. All I need to set this up is this section of code right here. So I just need to place that within the document.ready section. Okay, and um, you'll notice we have a regular expression here, which it checks, that's how it figures out whether the phone number is valid or not. And then also the message, so you can easily edit it if you want to change and have a different message display if the user needs to correct this field. Um, and so this particular method is called phone US with uppercase U and S for obviously United States style phone number. So to go ahead and add this uh, validation rule to our form, just go ahead, select the phone, and under class required, we're going to put phone US, like so. So let's go ahead and test this and see where we are. Yep, and it seems to be working fine. Um, it asks us to specify a valid phone number if I enter in some something invalid. and you'll notice the error message goes away if we enter in the correct value. Okay, so that about covers it for the JavaScript section. As I said earlier, um, this particular plugin that I'm using is quite powerful. It has a wide range of rules that you can use. Um, it has a full list here um, required. Uh, you can add a minimum or a maximum length. You could have a range, um, an email, date, URL, etc. So it allows you a lot of different rules to, or excuse me, it allows you to validate against a wide variety of rules and makes your life just a whole lot easier.